Hi, welcome once again into the carpenter shop where we're growing and becoming a little bit more like Jesus and we're growing up just like he did uh, and learning um, some life lessons along the way. In Revelation 20, verse 10, yes, I said Revelation. We're there. It says, the devil who deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are. And they'll be tormented day and night forever and ever. On the church at 434 in motion, we have some series on spiritual warfare called This Means War. We do some uh, studies on the book of Revelation. Uh, and so there's a lot that we do with this kind of subject matter. But for this particular series or this particular study, we want to put it right here in the midst of Carpenter Shop. See, it's hard to think of things that don't have um, an opposite or at least an equal. Night and day, light and darkness, up and down, slow and fast, big and small, good and evil. Those pairs are considered to be on equal footing by most people who um, use words, think of things, think of concepts, tell stories. Too often, though, people make a mistake, and it's a serious mistake, because they think that God's opposite is Satan. After all, God is good, and he is righteous, and he is true, and Satan is evil, and unrighteous, and a liar. But here's the difference. God is God, and God is eternal and infinite, where Satan is a created being. Actually, he is a created angel. Satan's opposite, if you want to look for an opposite in Scripture, would be Michael, the archangel of God. The Bible story is clear that God will be the ultimate victor. Um, God will cast Satan into that lake of fire, as promised. And God rules in eternal righteousness and glory. But don't ever make the mistake of thinking that Satan is God's equal. That's tragic. Because if you think that, if you make that mistake, then in that moment you've chalked up a win for Satan because you've given him more power than he deserves. Don't do it. And don't focus on evil. Focus on the power of God. And when you do, you're going to discover that God is bigger and stronger and can do so much more than we ever thought he could do. That's the kind of God who loves us and the kind of God we serve. And I look forward to joining you next time here in the Carpenter Shop.